dedicated this video to my brother Sabir Bay to help educate him from what I feel is a lot, a lot of misinformation he's been spewing and miseducating black people. So I want to correct that. Ooh, I told you I'm gonna brand myself. I should just drop one of my books off right here. Ooh, they're gonna be looking up that boy Sabir Bay. Who is Sabir Bay? The Morris Chief. So remember when I told you that brother got a fez on right there. But y'all thinking it's a religion. Hold up. You know who wear the fans? Which a lot of Afrocentrics confused. And I'm the one who first dropped this. Nobody, nobody had a clue. And I cleared all the... I'm the one who first started teaching people that the Moors were Arab and Berber. I got videos to prove it. So look, the Ascari, those are the people who were the fans. Let's read who, what an Ascari is. An Ascari means a so, it's a soldier or in the military, was a local ser soldier serving in the armies of the European colonial powers in Africa, particularly in the African Great Lakes, Northeast Africa and Central Africa. Now, the Ascari has nothing to do with North Africa or Northwest Africa. They're in Central Africa. East Africa, Northeast Africa. They're nowhere near that. Okay, they were the feds and the Ascari are the police. The destination is still an occasional use today to inform and describe police. That's what the Ascari is, the police. They were Africans who helped European, European colonial powers in Central Africa. All them videos you see with Sarah Susan Shetty showing in Italy and Mussolini and all that, that's over in Ethiopia and Central Africa. They ain't got nowhere near Morocco. They wouldn't wear no red cone hats up there. They was wearing turbans like I showed you. So look. These are the Ascari. Right here. Soldiers of the King's African Rifles, they also call. The Ascari and King's African Rifles are the same people. This is in 1902. You see the fans with the tassel hanging? I don't know how severe Bay and all these moors Got this confused is beyond me, but that's no, not beyond me. I know why. Because they were miseducated. They didn't know no better. They didn't even know their history. American Moors wearing a red fez hat is wearing a police uniform hat. That's the hat of the police. King's African's rifles. That's who wore the fez. These Negroes got it all twisted. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> there they go. There they go. What does it say right there? Ascari in training. Riflemen. These are policemen for European colonial forces with their little cone fast hat. That's what they did. Look, Eritrean Ascari. You see the Fez hat? What the hell is Samir Bay and them talking about? This is in Central Africa. This is in, this is right here is a, 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 a like East Africa. Eritrean Ascari. Yeah. Mussolini's forces and shit. <laughs> I mean, that's what they're doing. These American Moors are wearing this shit. Ain't got nothing to do with 
what they did in North Africa in turbans in Morocco. The Moroccan Touaregs and all them wore turbans. Wait, let me see some more pictures. There we go right there. Ascari Monument. The Ascari is the police. Look at what is right for. That's the police. Ascari Monument in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Where's Tanzania? That's Central Africa. <laughs> Dedicated to Ascari soldiers who fought in the East African campaign of World War I. That ain't got shit to do with Morocco. Go ahead, maybe see if I get some more pictures. These are some of the enemies of Africa. You understand what I'm saying? What you're looking at right here, these are some of the Indians. And these are some of the brothers that went down, uh, the, the so-called Indian, the Pakistani, that went down to South Africa with the British, who still in South. This is uh, Howard Carter. This is going to go through. I'm going to just let it go. You see that? That's some of them medieval Europeans. Like Columbus with the fairs on his head. These is the uh, uh, the Eastern stars with the fairs on the head, stealing up out of Kemet. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. You ain't well, wait. I'm, you gonna get your chance. I'm gonna show you this phase. Wait a minute. Let it go through. I, Cause I didn't put it in uh, order like I needed to. This Muhammad Ali, the most wicked Arab Turk that ever lived on the uh, on the planet, responsible for killing. Uh, uh, 50, 60 million Africans when he took Egypt. Look at the red fairs on his head. I want you to look very clearly. When I go back to Egypt and I go back to Africa and I know that's my enemy and you got his hat on his head, that's his, you think I'm going to you think I'm going to stop, you, 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 stop you think I'm going to stop to ask you, is you down with me? And I, I done already identified this man's uniform. You think I'm going to stop, man, when this go down and we in Africa, I'm going to advise you out of love. Take that hat off, boy, because I'm telling you, it's a mark of the beast. This is the, the crackers over there right now, the Arab, all throughout Africa. Even the Russians wear that fez. It come up out of that Turkish realm. Here go that Greco uh, uh, Christian uh, background over there, Roman, Russian. They all wearing that hat. So tell me, my man, how do I separate you from him in a war? Mm. And you ain't got no time to drop no law on me or explain mm. nothing we're to gonna, me. We're going to go into all that. How you going to... Listen, on the battlefield, I'm going to be real. And out of love, I'm going to tell you this. On the battlefield, when I gave my oath in Africa, man, I got to lay you down. I'm not going to ask you. Well, You got this man's hat. This is Gordon. You got, look, look, you got this man's hat on. You got this man, and I'm lost. No, I, who made this up? Let me, let me who ask. made this? Did I make okay, this up? Okay. Since I'm lost? Let's, let's explain. Listen, see let's, the white man right there? See all the niggas back there with the fans is on? Look at him. Let us explain it. Look at him. Go ahead and explain. Okay. I would like to hear this. All right, brother. Now, we can't. Like uh oh, wait a minute. Let me pause right there. Right. Let me pause there. Let me go back to that. Let me go back to that. I'm going to have to go back to that one because that, that one. Will that, go back? That, all right. That one going. That. that let me pause that one. All right. Let me pause. When you get a chance, you get back on that one, side now. Okay. All right, now let me let me address address that now. All right. The Fez. The same man that ran that Fez that's right over there in Egypt is sucking my people's okay. mineral wealth and funding his people like overseas. I don't know. That's a cracker. But I'm that's talking about the Arab. I'm talking about the Arab too. too. That's the Shriner. The Arab Turk was wearing it before the shrine. All these, so you telling me all these guys are? They, you Man, listen, practice, I don't right? want they all pick a wars one way or another. But the Arab, you talk about the that. Arab so that wearing that hat here. is in Africa, you sucking speak? all of the mineral wealth. And what I'm saying is, family, that the mineral wealth that's coming out of Africa, the re why, why we in this poverty, that the mineral wealth in Africa should be funding us wherever we are on this planet. If we want business, if we don't, if we don't want to live in Africa, that's okay. Long as we recognize that that's our holy land, that's our motherland, and we will go to the aid of Africa when needed, that's okay if you move out into the other parts of the world. But the mineral wealth of Africa belongs to us, and we should be 
Africa should be funding African people. And the man that's wearing that fez in Africa right now is sucking the mineral wealth out of Africa, sending it to Arabia, India, so Europe. What do you do? Indeed it is true. Indeed it is true. I took my oath on sacred ground that I will always be here to defend my people. The enemy, if you see this hat in Africa or anywhere else, if they can't make a, a, a distinction between our enemies and we on the battlefield, you don't have to stop to ask if a snake is poisonous. If you see a snake, then you take a snake's head. If you in Africa, do any research, any time a nigga befriended a cracker in Africa, he wore that hat. And if we go to war in Africa, anybody you see with that hat, hat on, take their head. Can I say something? That's my bottom line. Right. And that ain't an attack on my brother as my brother. But if we on the battlefield, ain't no way we gonna stop to ask to somebody if that's is you die. Why don't we go to war with the These Moors that were in Spain, do you know if they wore fezes? They wore and turbans. They, so, you, they wore turbans. Directed? Yeah, turban ain't a fez though. I wanna right. know if they wore fezes. Well yeah. well, you can go back and you'll see some of them wearing them uh the bucket hats or the fez, what they call it, the fez. Yeah, some of them had on fair, some of them had on the turbans. They was going back in and Spain? forth. In Spain? In Spain? Um, I, I, I don't know. I think the turbans in Spain. Ones. Yeah, all the images I see of, of Moors, and I haven't studied this exhaustively, I should say, this particular topic yeah. exhaustively. But I believe that most of those people we would consider Moors who are in Spain were often wearing turbans. The, the fez is a hat that comes from us from the area around Turkey. And it was conflated with ancient peoples, ancient Islamic peoples who existed in the area. Um, and so there's some confusion around the Fez as well. Um, and I think that we need to be a bit more disciplined about how we describe those people that did amazing things that were also African. Um, and that, that's a challenge. All right. Okay, so, so thank you, you brother. Right. I appreciate well, it. Thank, thanks thank a you. Lot, man. All thank right. You, peace. Dear brother. Peace and black power, no Jabari. Problem. Thank you for coming through. They don't call themselves Moors, people in, in, in Morocco. I talked to a brother last night about this. They don't call themselves Moors, people in, in, in Morocco. I talked to a brother last night about this. Listen to me. Listen, I want y'all to get what I'm saying to y'all. All of these Moors doing these videos on YouTube and Facebook talking crazy. I will call you bluff. I will call you bluff. They don't call themselves Moors, people in, in, in Morocco.